hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, it's been about a week. I've just been very, very busy with work. Uh, but we're back with another video, don't worry, I'm not dead, I am still alive and I'm still back. And I have got another video for you guys, and today it's another five minutes out of time, but this time I've got my five most underrated Premier League players this season. And before we get into this video, if you missed my last video, remember to check it out as always, and remember to like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into it. So starting in number five for me, the f for, in my opinion, the fifth most underrated player in the Premier League this season is James Madison. Obviously, ex-Norwich player as well. But since he joined Leicester from Norwich, he has been excellent for them. And is just going so... He's just always under the radar. He doesn't... You know, you got... People, people believe that Mount, Grealish and Foden are all ahead of Madison. But... <clears throat> you know, Madison's playing for a Leicester side that have really stepped it up the past two seasons or so. Obviously, they finished fifth last season, just about missing Champions League. They're in the Champions League spot so far this season. And he's been a big part to play in that. His, part, his link-up play with Vardy is, is excellent. The goals, some of the goals he's scored for Leicester, oh my word, they are incredible. And his overall impact on the game is, is, is excellent. It's, it's very rare that you see him have a bad game for Leicester. And, you know, he's been, he's been excellent for them. And he... Obviously, with Grealish, Foden and Mount all being so-called above him in the pecking order, I think it's criminal. I, I think Foden is a good player, but I think it's too early to put him above the pecking order uh, over Madison. Grealish, I can understand, um, but Mason Mount doesn't isn't even fit enough to tie James Madison's shoelaces, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, so James Madison is my number fifth most underrated player, and he deserves to be in that England squad for Euro 2021. So... Coming up in number four, my fourth most underrated player. Now, this is a bit of a mix and match one because some will say that he's evenly rated. But for me, it's Danny Ings. I think when he joined Southampton, no one expected him to get, you know, do the goals that he has done uh, for the Saints so far. Um, you know, coming as a Liverpool reject. Um, but Danny Ings has been nothing short of brilliant for them. Scoring goals, you know, left, right and centre has been excellent. He's a proper striker in the Premier League. And if we saw him start in and out for a top six club, I reckon he'd do really, really well. And does go really underrated in in uh, that area. And I think he does deserve to probably be on Eng in England's team in Euro 2021, if I'm honest. Coming up in number three for me is Scott McTominay of Man United. I think this season especially... Um, he's been excellent for Man United. He's been really pivotal in that midfield, coming up with some vital, vital goals. And I, I think he's an excellent footballer. And I think, you know, it's taken him time to kind of get up to that level that Man United need him to be in that midfield. But, you know, he's, he's, finally, he's finally got there and just does seem very, very good and very confident in his, in his game, very comfortable in his position and does look like a very, very good midfielder. Coming up in number two for me is Aston Villa's Douglas Louise. Didn't have the greatest season last season with Man uh, with uh, Aston Villa uh, joining from Man City, but this season he has been excellent in that midfield and goes underrated because you've got the likes of Jack Grealish and John McGinn who also shine and goes underappreciated. But I, I know Villa fans absolutely rave about Douglas Louise this season. There's been such a key point to uh, to their success so far this season, and a lot of Villa fans are are nervy about him maybe being recalled um, back to Man City. Obviously, there's a buyout clause or something or another uh, that could see him leaving because he's had that, so he's had that uh, good of a season so far. So, yeah, Douglas Louise is my second most underrated player this season. And coming up in first place, I think people would have guessed this by now, but it is Thomas Suchek of West Ham. Um, he's so, so underrated. Um He's just done so well. Ever since joining, um, joining them, I think it was January last season, he's just solidified that midfield. And his partnership alongside Rice is formidable. And has done so well this season. You know, in the top four. West Ham are in the top four. You know, a, a club that's just seemed just in the mud, basically, um, a few seasons back. Of You know, David Moyes rejuvenated that club. And Thomas Suchek has been performing out of his skin. And no one expected this guy to do so well. And, you know, he's... Uh, He's probably the best CDM in the Premier League this season, without without a doubt. So guys, that is my top 
five most underrated players in the Premier League so far this season. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss another video. And anyway, guys, that's it from me. I'll just...